Buenos dias and welcome to 2021 and welcome back to a new video, my friends. I hope you're staying healthy and I hope that you're staying safe wherever you are in the world. Today we are in beautiful South Carolina at Congaree National Park. And I got here a little bit later than I wanted to. However, I think with the rains over the last few days and the cloud cover that we still have, I think the sun's gonna peek in and out and I think we'll be able to get some special images today. But nonetheless, let's get out into this beautiful national park and explore and take some images. Love you guys for joining me today. Let's get going. So what I love about this national park is that from the visitor center, you can uh, start your hikes and your paths on this beautiful boardwalk that they established and it kind of leans over and heads over all of the kind of swampiness that we have down below and then you can get out onto the trails and uh, explore so this is kind of a nice way if you just want to visit Congaree National Park and take their extensive boardwalk trail or you can get out in it and they have a variety of different trails from easy too difficult. Uh, so I would suggest visiting. This is my first time here and we're gonna have some fun and um, yeah I'll definitely be back. All right I haven't gotten too far and I found my first composition as the sun started peering through the woodland canopy. I've noticed some of these uh, fall leaves which have turned and and maybe are sticking around with this color uh, that's on them but I noticed that the droplets of water, since it's been raining a lot here the past few days, the droplets of water caught my eye shimmering in the sun a little bit. So I want to kind of uh, put together a couple droplets of water together with a couple leaves coming off of this tree. So it's, it's going to be much more of a close-up shot, a cropped-in shot. Uh, but never be afraid to shoot on a popular pathway uh, per se. Um, it might sound a little touristy or what have you. Um, you don't have to be in the thick of it to get an original image. This is an image that most people probably pass by and may never see or want to shoot. But for me, this is what photography is all about is finding images that speak to you, not necessarily to other people. And it's your art, your creativity, and it's what you're creating that makes it special and the moment special as you're out and taking and doing photography. So this is my first shot. And as I say this, the sun is disappearing, uh, but I think we'll still be able to get a pretty good shot. Okay, we are off the boardwalk and we're on the Sims Trail. And the reason I chose the Sims Trail, it mentioned that it had possible uh, sightings of river otter, uh, wading birds, and the occasional alligator. I'm in. Let's try this. Now, it did rain <laughs> quite a bit here. And as you can see, the, um, oh man, it's deep right there. Um, I don't know if I can get through this. I mean, I can. Boots are waterproof, but I wasn't planning on getting that thick into it. Um, let's see. Let's see. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Uh oh, oh man. How's this here? All right. So far, so good. Uh, keep it going. We're making it, all right, getting through it. I mean, the whole path looks pretty washed out. Um, we'll see here. All right, I made it, okay. <laughs> so I made it through all of that without being too wet. And now it looks like it thins out a little bit moving forward. So I think we're gonna be okay. Um, like I said, there was a lot of rains here 
over the past few days. So this, uh, these pathways will definitely be a little washed out in some areas, but let's carry on. Okay, I didn't take too many more steps because as I looked back, I just noticed what a beautiful opportunity. You know, you talk about unique images that this area isn't necessarily traversed when there's downpours the days before because people locally, especially locally, know that this is gonna be all washed out. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot back in that direction with the reflection. The subject will mainly be the reflection in the water leading out into the woodland area, but I really think that this is a nice composition. So let's give it a go. I haven't gone very far. I'm just down the path a few feet and I crossed over it. And what I noticed here in the um, kind of flooded uh, trail is that there are certain parts of the sediment that's a little bit more sandy and it's separated from the leaves and things that have crossed over it. And I feel like it makes a nice juxtaposition to the dark and the lights and the reflection um, in the foreground. Um, all the way into the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that shot. I'm gonna go ahead and bracket or focus bracket this shot. So I'm gonna shoot for focus in the front, the center, and in towards the back of the image. All right. I'm somewhat in a little bit of a precarious situation here. I'm almost wading in just foot high water, but it's uneven ground. But I walked out here because what I noticed was as I was walking down the path, there's this tree off to the left of the screen here. And what I liked about it, it was being serenaded by some smaller, thinner trees. And since I didn't break out my um, tripod here on my backpack, I'm actually just using the, this big old fallen tree trunk with a little bit of green moss in the foreground, which is going to be obscured. And we're going to make the tree in the uh, background there the center of attention. So I think I'm going to bracket this one, focus bracket it, but, um, or focus stack it, however you want to call it. Let's get it. All right, real quick before the sun peaks behind a cloud and it may be doing that right now as I speak. This stopped me in my tracks. I don't know if it picks up well on the camera or the video, but it looks like it's a Christmas tree with lots of stringed lights on it. And I think it's beautiful. I don't know if the image is gonna come out, but I'm just sitting here admiring it. I'm gonna give it a go, but um, it's pretty. It's really pretty. So apparently my wireless mic has failed me as it will one more time. So what I was saying here is that the trail is too washed out and that I'm not going to be able to make it any further here on the Sims trail and that we'd walk back and we'll find another trail. All right, we are off the Sims trail and on the Bluffs trail and walking on the boardwalk for a little bit until we get to the Bluffs Trail. As much as I would love to have seen river otters and alligators, I did not want to swim with them.
Well, my battery pack went out yet again on my wireless mic. Uh, batteries were just dying, so that's all I had, and I didn't realize it here when I was shooting this uh, portion of the video. And what I was saying here was that this is gonna be my last shot of the day here at Kangri National Park. And what I'm setting up here is a three to five shot pano of the tree trunks that were submerged in the uh, water. And what was behind the tree trunks, which I found really interesting, was just the, the Congaree River. And the sun was a little bit harsh on this shot, but nonetheless, I thought it was a fun shot to shoot. So this is my last image, and I appreciate you all watching uh, Buenos Dias imagery videos. If this is your first video, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And for those of you that keep coming back for more, I really appreciate you all. And I know that all of you have many choices on YouTube. And I just appreciate you coming by and stopping by and watching my videos. So thank you so much and happy 2021. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate you joining the Buenos Dias imagery family. Like this video if you liked any part of it. Please comment down below and let me know what national parks I should visit in the United States. What, what are some of your favorites or even in the areas that you live around the world? And please ring that bell to notify you of new videos when they are released. All right, that's going to do it from Congaree National Park in South Carolina. I love y'all. Peace.